Would a dot limit magnifier be better than a low power variable optic for general purpose? Depends on a lot of factors. And, and again, you have to compare the positive and the negatives of everything and then figure out, knowing that there's no free lunch, what you're willing to put up with. Um, for me, the only three power magnifier and optic combo that I liked was the um, EOTech XPS and G33 with the expensive ass Wilcox shit. That was it. It's the only one that's ever lined up properly that when I folded it, I couldn't see the hood. It just looked like I was looking through a magnified scope and the dot was crisp and clear. Uh, and uh, it was so crisp and clear. I could see the four MOA deviation because of the t heat temperature on the EOTech. I'm just playing. That's, that's the EOTech trip. Um, no, it looked amazing. Uh, you're going to get zero shift. I have never fired any low power, uh, any magnifier red dot combo, but there was not a, uh, a zero shift when uh, shot either magnified or unmagnified, not the way that you zeroed it. So normally we would shoot magnified to zero. Then we would take our magnifiers off and we would do grouping drills uh, out to about a hundred. And we would see where the zero shift was out to 100 yards, taking the assumption that if I'm firing beyond 100, I'm going to take the time to seek a piece of cover, reach in whatever pouch or pocket the G33 is in and attach it to the rifle and then get back into the fight uh, beyond 100. But we were absolutely having to shoot hold over, hold unders, and maybe even some windage, some uh, Kentucky windage left or right when engaging uh, targets from 100 meters and in using our EOTech unmagnified without the magnifier in place. Where guys fuck up is they try to overthink it and they're like, well, I'm going to shoot unmagnified the majority of the time. So they zero unmagnified and then figure they're just going to throw the magnifier on. But when I need the magnifier, the shots are probably harder. And now I'm trying to incorporate elevation holds of Kentucky windage for the zero shift to the magnifier and the motherfucker I'm shooting at is 400 yards out. So to me, that didn't make sense. Uh, other than that, I have shot uh, the uh, magnifier before the G33 from EOTech. I shot that with an aim point. I shot that with an EOTech. I've shot an EOTech with aim points magnifier. I've shot an EOTech with EOTech's old magnifier on the Samson flip over mount. I've used the LaRue fucking click off uh, uh, or click over shit. I've used the aim point click off shit. I've used every mount and magnifier EOTech and aim point combo that I could think of. And they all suck dog balls uh, with the XPS and, and uh, G33 sucking dog balls the least. So my daytime guns, my 14 and a half and, and above have some type of low power variable optic. So when I need to make a precise shot, I will be able to do that. And I have three more powers of magnification, three more times magnification for the purpose of situational awareness. And, you know, a lot of uh, patrol officers you know, aren't getting that, you know, we're not putting a six power on your rifle. Sorry, Texas, five power. We're not putting a six power on your rifle because we want you trying to shoot people at 250 or 275 yards away with that rifle. Although that shot could present itself. I want you glassing a dude's head, half of his head at 46.2 meters. When he looks around the side of a car, looking to see if you guys are still out there and you can see his gun sitting between his legs below the bumper. And he's looking at you through the tail light, around the tail light, and you could see the blaster uh, in between his legs below him. And I want you to shoot that, that at 47 yards. That's what I want your six power to be. I want you 
cruiser supported four, five, six X left eye socket. Fucking Audi, bro. Sorry. Bat. One shot right through the eye socket at 46.7 yards with a six power scope. It's about SA. It's not about distance for me for patrol rifles and uh, low power variable optics.